Hi everyone, I am back with another tutorial in the Node series. Before we move ahead with any topic of Node, it was very important to know about asynchronous processes, the callback functions, promise object and understanding async await as well. So the last few sections were about that only. Moving further, Node.js provides various built-in modules to deal with variety of operations. In this section, I am starting the discussion of the file system module. This module is capable of doing all file, even folder related operations like creating, updating, deleting, renaming files, etc. Before diving deep, Let's try a simple class of fs that is the file system module named stat which helps to get various statistics of a file. Now when it comes to using the file system module the very first thing we do is we use the require and because it's the built in module we don't need to give any path. So I'm just going to say fs. So this is going to import the module and we are going to make an object of this module. So I'll say const fs is equal to require fs. This means that we have imported this module. Now you have all the methods available with file system object. So let's say the very first class we are going to use is fs.stat. This is a kind of class which helps you to get the statistics of a file. Let's say right now in this particular folder, I already have this file called fs1.js. Now, as I mentioned that it was very important to know the callback function also, you will see that most of the methods with Node.js do have a syntax of callback function number one or number two, it will have the asynchronous way of calling it. So we will see gradually once we get more acquainted with Node.js. Now here this particular stat class which is going to act as a method here. Here it has the first parameter the file name. Let's say right now I have file called fs1 in the current folder. So I'm going to say fs1.js that's the file. Now I want to get the statistics of this file. So I have given this you can give a path and define any file you want to. The next thing is it is going to take a callback function. This happens always in Node.js that there is always a callback function. A callback function which I can write with a function keyword or I can write with arrow as well. Right. So let me write arrow function here. This will have two parameters. The first is always the error which you can define with an object whichever name you want to decide but generally we keep ERR and let's say here I'm going to say stats. So this is going to receive the statistics of the file. Now this function will be called. So generally we write that if there is an error then we just want to return the console log and the error. That's it. Otherwise what we want is let's say I want to just display the object that is the stats object right. This is the object I'm talking about. This is received right in the callback function. So let me just mention stats here. I'll just save this and let's run the file fs1.js. Now this is what you see in the output. The stats object has these different types of values, right? So you get the details of the file, the one which you have given here in the path. Remember you can put a loop and you can get information of all files. There are various ways to deal with it. But right now in an easier way, we are just trying to understand the functionality of file system object and we are also learning about how do we import the FS module in our application. Now let's also add a few more lines here. Let's say the stats, the one which you have here, this one does have various other methods as well. Let's say there is a method called is file which returns whether the one which you have given here is a file or a directory. So we can try both the methods in fact. So I'm going to say console log here. I'll just copy the console log, paste it here twice, right? Stats has now is file which is going to return a boolean value whether this given value here is a file or a directory and the same applies to another method called is directory as well. This is going to return true because it's a file and this will return false. Even if you want to get the size of a file, let's say I'll say console log then there is a property called size. I'll say size. Now this will return the file size in bytes. 
so I'll just save this clear the screen let me just comment the stats object at the moment because there is too much of information so I'll run the code again there you are so here you have is file is true is directory is false and the size is 248 bytes so this is just an example of file system object another class FS has is the DIR class which deals with directories most of the node.js methods generally will have two ways of using it one method you find is synchronous when I say synchronous that means like this one the callback function that is and another is the asynchronous for example to deal with the directory you have fs.opendir method but actually there are two methods one is fs.opendir and the second is opendir sync similarly you will have read file and read file sync you will have write file and write file sync so you will get the idea about it as we go on but the point here is that you will find two ways of the same method right so the syntax is like this let's say fs.opendir so this is an asynchronous method where you have a callback function and you also have a synchronous way to deal with it so you can say fs.opendir sync so there are various ways you have to deal with the same method that is also a significance in some cases but as we move on you will get a better idea better hold on these concepts okay so now we have seen the stat class let's try the dir class as well what i'm going to do i'm going to create an example let's say here we already have the fs imported instead of this i'm going to say open dir so we have the you see open dir open the IR sync you have something called open you have open sync so this is asynchronous this is synchronous right let's try first of all asynchronous which will have a callback function so open the IR now here for example I just want to give the path now either I can give the local path let's say here I have D colon slash NJ node right so either I can say current folder right or maybe I can directly write let's say D colon slash is a special character so I'm going to use the escape sequence d colon slash nj node the next thing is we have the callback function in this method instead of stats now I will have another object called dir remember you name it whatever you want to but we just keep the meaningful names that's the only concern so here we have this dir error let it be as it is doesn't matter because we want to validate every time and the next thing is because we have the dir object straight away I'm going to display what dir has that's it I'm going to remove these two console logs at the moment I'll just save this now this is what the code is let me increase the size just in case if you miss it now I'm going to save and run the code as you can see the dir object has various properties even some classes also right which will give you further information about the current directory now let's say I just want to check one more property of this dir object so what will I do I'll just try one property called path right let me run the code again you see it displays the path so with dir now you have various properties available in the further examples we will have different ways of dealing with folders that is directories and files but right now let's try to loop through this dir object now because this dir will take some time to return the value what will i do i will be using the for await to put a loop here so let this error validation be as it is let's say i'm going to make a common function which is going to display all the files or folders of a given path right so i will say i'm going to make a function called show dir that's the method i'm going to create now this i'm going to pass the current folder only right now let me write the function itself how am i going to write this i'm going to rewrite the code so that you get the clear idea about it i will write the function now because this function is going to have a weight used inside it i'm going to use this as asynchronous function right see this is why we have seen the concept of async await also earlier right so that you get the idea you don't get confused with all these things 
so make sure that you have gone through previous uh, four to five videos which are all about callback async await promises okay now i'll say async function let's say the function name is show directory now this is going to take a path as a parameter so i'll say path the next thing is instead of the dir was passing in a callback function now we can call this like this await file system object dot promises dot open dir because it's an asynchronous function isn't it open dir is an asynchronous function that means it will return a promise now here you pass the path so the path which you have received in the function that i'm going to get it here so the dir will have the list of values until that time it will wait once you receive it you are going to say for await const i'll use the dirent of dir and every time the loop goes through a value there will be a name received so now this function is going to take one parameter which is a folder and it will list out all the values that is all the files and folders of the given path let's run this and see what is the output now this particular folder has these files there is a zip file right there is a folder and there are different files also test is a folder and fs1.js is the file in case if you want to recheck i can say dir so you get all the details these are the things we have here so now instead of open dir what if i use the synchronous process if you do that that's also fine let's say i comment here the asynchronous process i comment that means the asynchronous method of open dir i'm commenting again i'm creating dir but i'm going to use the synchronous way so fs dot open dir but that is the synchronous one that's also fine and this will also take a path doesn't matter because i'm using the async here and i'm using the await to wait for the directory to come so that's okay now i just save this here clear the screen and run the code again you still have the same output so there are asynchronous and synchronous methods and there is a significance you can use both different syntax different purpose also sometimes but as we move on with reading and writing files you will get a better idea and also right now my concern is to share this video is about discussing or initiating the discussion about the file system object in the forthcoming modules we are going to see about how to create files remove files rename files various operations you can do with file system object let's say on the server you want to create a log file for something log file for error maybe or some messages the file system module is very useful in all such cases